Here's our next example. Um, this time, 5 plus x squared looks a lot like arctan, right? We see a number plus x squared suggests that we should let x equal 2. So we need a number that squares to 5. Well, that's root 5, root 5, tan theta. And again, we might want to kind of keep in the back of our mind that what this really means is we're actually making, it's like a u substitution, right? Theta is the new variable. We're calling it theta instead of u because, I don't know, trig. Um, so what we really mean here is theta is arc tan x over root 5, okay? If it helps you draw the triangle, we don't really need it, but a lot of people like it dx root 5 secant squared theta times d theta, okay? And what is 5 plus x squared? 5 plus x squared is 5 plus 5 10 squared theta. Factor of the 5, I've got 1 plus, c, uh, 1 plus 10 squared. 1 plus 10 squared is secant squared theta, okay? And once again, uh, secant is, is defined n positive on the range of arc 10, right? Theta is an angle in the range of arc 10. So secant is a positive number. So if we have to take a square root, which we do, we don't have to worry about sines, right? So we know that the square root of 5 plus x squared is root 5 times secant theta. All right, so now we substitute everything in. Okay, so 1 over that square root becomes 1 over root 5 secant theta. dx becomes root 5 secant squared theta d theta, okay, cancel the roots, cancel that secant with one of the two in the numerator, we have secant theta d theta, all right, so we might remember that one, we did this one in the section on substitution, the integral for secant is the natural log of the absolute value of secant theta plus tan theta. Put our constant in there. But of course, we, we don't want to leave our answer in terms of theta, right? We want our answer in terms of x, so we have to come back to here and we say, okay, what's secant theta? Secant theta, divide both sides by root 5. I've got that sitting there. Tan theta, well, of course, we know what tan theta is. It's x over root 5. Okay, so we get natural log, absolute value, secant theta is square root 5 plus x squared, divide by root 5, tan theta is x over root 5 plus c. Uh, you can leave it at that. If you want to clean this up a little bit, um, we could do this. Uh, we could notice that we have, okay, so I don't know. I like having that x in front. 5 plus x squared. Whole thing is over that root 5. Um, now, remember your log properties. We can write this as log of the top minus log of the bottom. The log of the bottom is a constant, right? It's root 5. Log of root 5. We can absorb that into the plus c, right? So, Maybe it's a different constant than it was before, but it would be perfectly fine to give your answer like that.